You got to dig them to know. I started this because I love bottles, I love glass, but in the act of doing it, it made me kind of, at an older age, fall in love with history uh, versus uh, uh, just wanting to do it to find glass. And in doing that, it uh, you know I find buttons, marbles, all kinds of things like that. So it's funny, finding bottles as a kid let me become a glass blower, which led me back to finding bottles and gave me an interest in history. So. It's pretty neat, it's pretty cool. And York contains so much of it. Well, it's kind of hard to tell because all the fill stuff we're getting is 1820s to 1880s. So that's 60 years of uh, filling it up with things, but, or filling this area up with things and then using it as things. When they threw something in a privy that broke, it was all the parts and pieces and they threw it in and you'll get all those parts and pieces out in a certain area because it would have fallen same level, just maybe here, here, and here. Visually, there was a, a dip here and Considering where it was located behind this house back here and what this lot was used for and the time that this warehouse was built just seemed logical. And there's no water damage on the foundation. It's not sinking here. That, that tells me quite a bit too. So yeah, it was just me probing, finding a soft spot, doing the evidence like where is it located, things like that, what's been here. And then um, what do I hit with my probe? what's the density of the dirt beside it and then once I proved it what's the size of this void and then I measure it and usually a privy is four by four and this was when I originally probed it I just drew four lines measured them one was three foot ten and one was four foot so that that's what told me well this almost has to be a privy footprint yeah